Rose Becca, staff photographer Dallas Cowboys tight end Blake Jarwin, 89, runs the ball against Los Angeles Rams inside linebacker Mark Barron, 26, in the first quarter of the NFC Divisional Round playoff game at Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. On Saturday, January 12, 2019, Rose Becca, staff photographer. Here are 10 things you may not know about Cowboys tight end Blake Jarwin, the basics name, Blake Jarwin height, 6 to 5 weight, 260 pounds, born, July 16, 1994, Oklahoma City, OK, drafted, undrafted Paralee Desjarwin wasn't the flashiest player in high school, claiming he never scored during his time at Tuttle High School in Oklahoma. After high school, Jarwin stayed in state moving on to Oklahoma State where he got some experience punching the ball in the end zone. In three seasons with the Cowboys, Oklahoma State, not Dallas, Jarwin had 41 catches for 616 yards and five touchdowns. The story of how he made the Cowboys roster coming. Out of college, Jarwin went undrafted in the 2017 NFL Draft. The Cowboys signed him as an undrafted free agent that summer and in September put him on their practice squad. Then the Eagles came knocking for Jarwin, prompting the Cowboys to activate him to avoid losing him to their NFC East rival. Cowboys made sure the Eagles didn't steal him signing with the Cowboys as an undrafted free agent prior to the 2017 season, Jarwin didn't see the field much in his rookie season. Jarwin was on the field for three snaps of one game in 2017 and that was it. I'm thankful they did that, he told Sports Day. I chose here free agency for a reason. I was happy they respect me enough and believe in me enough to keep me around throughout the season, he became one of Dak Prescott's favorite off-season target Jarwin started building good chemistry with quarterback Dak Prescott prior to the 2018 season. In training camp, Prescott regularly targeted Jarwin up the middle, particularly in red zone situations. Jarwin studied Jason Witten film and Prescott spoke highly of his ability to get open. Jarwin called it a step in the right direction, I'm happy to continue to build that chemistry between us, Jarwin said, and the respect that I can be in this spot so he can get to me and trust in me that I'll catch the ball, becoming the everyday tight end after starting the 2018 season with such little NFL playing experience, Jarwin changed that. He led all tight ends last season with 27 receptions, 307 receiving yards and 3 touchdowns in 16 games and 4 starts. The door opened for Jarwin after an injury to starter Jeff Swaim, who started all nine games he played for the Cowboys last season. The other two tight ends on the roster, rookie Dalton Schultz and Rico Gathers combined for 15 receptions and 161 yards. His historic outing when the Cowboys took the field for their regular season finale against the New York Giants on deck. It turned out to be Jarwin's coming out party. Jarwin had a career-high seven catches for a career-high 119 yards. Even more impressive, he had three touchdowns, which made him the first Cowboys tight end since Billy Joe Dupree in 1973 to have three scores. That's right, not even Jason Witten has achieved that feat. Although his 119 yards was the first 100-yard game for a Cowboys tight end since Witten had 134 against Cleveland in 2016. Last April, Jarwin got to preview Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Before Jarwin joined the Cowboys, he used to be a fan of the rival Philadelphia Eagles growing up, I don't know what was wrong with me. My mom was a big Dallas fan and I think I wanted to be rebellious, Jarwin said in a radio interview. But I had the opportunity to choose in free agency and I decided to come here, I couldn't turn down the offer to learn under Jason Witten, he respects Jason Witten. Yarwin had the opportunity to learn from one of the Cowboys' best tight ends in Jason Witten in his first season. Witten retired before the 2018 season, but will be back with the Cowboys in 2019, he would see stuff before I could even comprehend what was happening on the field, Jarwin said in a radio interview. Just how much time he put into the game off the field is incredible and that's something I'll carry with me for the rest of my career, for sure.